First bite this morning, a little skinny. He needs to eat. Got him on a little square bill. Well guys, I'd, I'd love to do a fishing video for you today, but uh, I can tell you right now, we're not fishing in the ocean. This is Lake Nascimento, and the wind is just raging out here. It's been going since we got here this morning. I've only been able to catch a couple of fish. So what I'm likely going to do is what I told one of my subscribers I would do a while back. I'm going to give you a boat tour when we get up there because... This is not going to be too fishable today. We've made a number of changes of areas to try to get out of this wind, and we just uh, can't seem to do it. So uh, we'll do a boat tour. It's just one of those days. Hey everybody, it's Dalton. As you can see from the opening of this video, uh, we had to go ahead and come in way, way, way too much wind. Uh, my boat will take the wind, but we just weren't able to fish the way we needed to today to, to catch them. Um, that's one of my subscribers asked me to do a boat tour, so I'm gonna do a brief boat tour. What we have here, this is a uh, 2018, um, it's a tracker. It's called the, uh, the Guide uh, Laker 16 Deluxe. It's a, it's a 16 foot boat, plenty wide enough and um, we bought this boat basically to be able to fish the lakes that we fish. So we're going to start from the back. And when you buy this boat, it, uh, it will come with a 20 horse. So what you want to do, if you do get a boat like this, I upgraded to the 40, which will take me a little bit faster. It takes us around 30, 31, 32 miles an hour, which is plenty good enough for us. So the 40 horse, uh, does plenty of plenty of good for us right over here I've got one of the seats here and then uh, right there. We have an, a Lawrence fish finder and then up front We have a hummingbird fish finder. I'm gonna walk you back around this way This is the rod locker here and you can put I put about six seven rods in here and the rest of them I got these little straps. I just put them right up top Over here is the live well. I hardly ever use the live well, so I use it for my plastic baits. I mark all my plastic baits, put them in freezer bags, and that's how I uh, store them. Right here is another one. This has got a lot of my hard baits, top waters, crank baits over there. It has a lot of swim baits, uh, but any of the harder baits or whatnot go in the sides. Uh, we also have some additional storage under there. Sorry about the wind, but this is what we're uh, this is what we're dealing with out here today. That's why we had to stop fishing. Now up here is my pride and joy. Uh, this is a Minkota Tarova. It handles this wind great. I mean, I can spot lock this boat, and it will it will literally just stay in place. Problem with the wind today, it was a little bit too much for fishing. Uh, we did do some cranking. We didn't get many bites on that. A couple on a square bill. Uh, today we probably would have got a whole lot of them if we had been able to do some finesse fishing, maybe some drop shotting, plastic worms. This was not the day for that. Finally my wife and I were just like, let's just go home and barbecue. We'll come out another day. But this is the boat. Um, the boat we had before, it was a little 14 foot aluminum boat. Uh, I believe the first day we had it on the water we had buyer's remorse. So after a few months, we used the heck out of it. Uh, we, we traded in for this one. I, I've had my eye on this boat since I was in my 20s. And uh, back then, it was all riveted. Now they're all weld, welded, and they're just a lot better. And it really is a fantastic boat. But uh, I wanted to keep my word to the subscriber and let him know that I'm going to go ahead and do this boat tour. Perfect time to do it. Fishing wasn't going to happen today. But uh, we're going to head home barbecuing is going to happen today. Be back out here in a few days. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.